Victor Kernay is the referee in charge, so just like I told you, Arthur Stahov is much more experienced, but don't forget that uh, Magomed Shekhov was a late substitute, so he decided to accept that challenge. 18 wins. Most of them came by the way of knockout, submissions, and three decisions. Six losses, two due to a knockout, one by submission, and three by decision. His last fight was last year when he lost to Leonardo Silva due to a unanimous decision. And here comes Magomed Shehov trying to take his opponent down, but nice defense from Arthur Astahov. But Magomed Shehov decided to improve his position. Nice knee to the hip. Oh, nice knee to the head. And we see that Magomed Shehov tried to get his opponent neck. I think. And uh, Arthur Astahov shakes his opponent off, and the fight continues in the distance. Oh, nice connection with the right hand by Magomed Shekhov, and another one hits from the right by Youngster. Very good start by Magomed Shekhov, actually. And another takedown attempt from Magomed. And once again, Artur Astachov shows pretty good takedown defense, and they separate. Well, very courageous start from Magomed Shekhov, by the way. He's not interested in his opponent experience. He's not actually interested in his opponent opposition, the amount of the fight. He just comes forward and he shoots, he engages and he's willing to take his opponent head off. But we see that big right hand coming from Magomed Shehov, but nothing comes after. And this could be a fatal mistake for Magomed. Because, oh, very nice connection again by Magomed Shehov, because he pushed his opponent to the fence and there was no room for Artur Stahov to step back, so that's why he absorbed all these shots Nice episode for Magomed Shehov, and he continues pushing forward. A leg kick from Shehov. Now he's dominating in the cage, so surprisingly, so unexpected, Magomed Shehov. And takedown attempt again, with a double leg takedown. After Stachov tried to hook. Half of the round passed, and there we see a solid dominance by Magomed Shehov, who is in control, who is still controlling his opponent beside the cage, pushing him to the cage, trying to take him down. So Arthur Stachov has nothing to do but just to defend himself, but still he is on the ground already. Magomed Shehov tried to take the control of the legs of the opponent, but Arthur Stachov used defense to get up. And once again, Arthur Stahov separates, comes up to the distance. And I think that Arthur Stahov has already spent more, much powers. Nice leg kick and a beautiful counter from Magomed Shekhov. And another attack by the fighter from Makhachkola. And once again, Arthur Stahov is on his back trying to produce, maybe it was a triangle grip or something like that. And so far, this is a half guard position and Magomed Shekhov is on top. And I think that he should use his elbows here. He should use his right hand. Astakhov turns, I think that he could turn around and give his back. One minute to go in the first round. Magomed Shekhov is dominating here trying to prepare his opponent for a rear naked choke. And Stahov turns around again. Oh, nice elbow by Magomed Shehov. Another one, another one elbow connected. Another takedown from Magomed Shehov and a good control is shown by the fighter from Dagestan. So in this case, According to the fact the fight is going, oh, 
this is the full mount position. And a big trouble for Arthur Astahov who gave his back. And there comes a rear naked choke attempt. 10 seconds to go in the first. So I think that Magomed Shekhov will not have enough time to finish his opponent. But still another episode. Another episode is for Magomed Shekhov. A tremendous performance by Magomed. And uh, I think that uh, Arthur Astahov and all his team, especially Alexander Sidorin, one of the famous, one of the most famous coaches and one of the most famous referees in Russia, they are totally shocked because nobody, nobody expected such a big start from Magomed Shehov, who actually ruined his opponent during the third round, did not let him, did not let him any chance. Well, the difference is that uh, Arthur Asakov is still in the game, but we all see that he's tired, he's exhausted, and he needs some more time to recover. He needs some more time to regain his powers, but we'd better look again at Magomed Shehov's performance and what he was doing during the first round. He was just destructing Arthur Astahov, who is much more experienced. <laughs> who actually has more than 25 bouts in his professional career, opposite five for Magomed Shehov. Well, actually, just like I told you, Magomed Shehov has a pretty rich background, amateur background, but still, there is no comparison with the professional sport, you know what I mean? Oh, nice connection again with the right hand by Magomed Shekhov, and he continues, continues landing shots, absorbing some more shots in the exchange. And another single leg takedown attempt from Magomed. And a slight pause. Once again, the fighters have to regain, have to recover, have to have to regain the powers. And once again, Arthur Stahov tries to separate. He's trying to stay on the distance. But so far, it doesn't work for him because Magomed Shehov shoots from a long range. He has shorter limbs, shorter reach. Oh, nice, very nice combination by Arthur Stahov. Several shots landed. But still, Magomed Shehov shows that his chin is pretty tough and it's not really easy to take him down to put him down to knock him down nice one too by arthur ostakov so i think that magomed shekhov is tired also so this is the lack of experience ladies and gentlemen and uh, in this position magomed is trying to cover himself up because he's too exhausted he's too exhausted but still he is on his feet and Arthur Stachov understands that his fighter, uh, that I'm sorry, that his opponent can do nothing in this particular position. So, so he has to improve. He has to come forward to throw punches. Magomed Shehov stays with low hands, breathing heavily, and so. For me, it's pretty surprising is that, oh, a nice connection with the right hand by Arthur. So that, I wonder why Magomed Shehov lost all his powers so fast, immediately, at once. Because it happened, well, just in one second. At the very beginning of the second round, we saw that Magomed Shehov was ready, was ready to engage, was ready to shoot, but in the other moment, Magomed Shehov is done. Of course, he is still dangerous. But don't forget, don't forget, Magomed Shehov is a late substitute. We don't know actually the shape he had entering the cage. Nice leg kick, and again by Magomed Shehov. Pretty good low kick, outside low kick. Well, I think that is the answer for Magomed Shehov to stay outside, to stay on the distance, not to let the opponent hit him. And of course, not to stay beside the cage. Magomed changes the stance. 
but not for long. It's really, really hard for him. Another big right hand from Shehoff. Excellent counter with a sidestep with the left hook by Stahov. 90 seconds to go in the second. Oh, that was a good body shot by Artur Stahov. And of course, these body shots will definitely influence. And another one. Another one, buddy. But oh, down goes Magomed Shehov. He's in trouble. And Arthur Stahov is about to finish his opponent. Victor Kurnev is right here. And that's it. It's all over. That is what I call experience, ladies and gentlemen. You can be in the worst form, but still, if you have the experience, you will use it. And you, it will help you to gain the victory, just like it happened here. Magomed Shehov left all his powers in the first round. I think that the plan for him was to do everything to finish his opponent during first five minutes and if and we see that it never happened that Arthur survived in the first round and there there were no powers left for the second and the third so I think that is the main reason why Magomed Shehov got beaten but still I think that he's a pretty talented guy he's very uh, courageous he has heart so I think that the ACA principals and organizing committee will definitely notice that and they will invite him at the tournament once again, or maybe more than once. Arthur Ostahov is the winner of the bout due to a technical knockout. We see a disappointment on uh, Magomed Shehov's face. Well, 